It's well documented that all over the world, levels of financial literacy need improving. The good news is that by investing a modest amount of time in researching this subject, you can improve your finances substantially. Andrew Craig runs a financial education website called Plain English Finance. He was inspired to start it while working in the City of London. One of the things that really came home to me in doing that was even people in the city had really, really bad kind of nuts and bolts understanding of their personal finances. You know, what is an ISA? What is a pension? Um, what are stock markets? What's inflation? What, what are interest rates? But I started playing English finance as a sort of angry young man um, as a reaction to that. And, the, and, the, and our guiding principle ever since I did that has really been to, to, to improve the financial affairs of as many people as we can. What then, according to Andrew, are the most important personal finance rules to follow? He suggests there are two main ones. Rule number one is don't spend more than a third of your income on your house, which is something that makes sounds a bit crazy to people these days because we're so obsessed with home ownership in Britain. Because rule number two is you should basically always invest 10% of your income uh, in, in investment products that aren't your house. And a lot of people, in spending vastly more than a third of their income on a roof over their head, um, find that they then can't afford to save and invest 10% of their money in investments. Saving or investing 10% of what you earn can be a challenge. The best way to tackle it, says Andrew, is to start a spreadsheet showing your monthly outgoings. You should then focus on trying to reduce the biggest numbers. Rather than trying to save money on how many cappuccinos you buy every day or how, you know, the, going to Lidl instead of Waitrose, or, you know, which is all very laudable, actually probably the single easiest way, there are two things that's very easy to change um, if you're willing to live in a less fashionable, fashionable neighbourhood and perhaps a slightly smaller house it, or flat is, um, is not, you know, number one, the biggest numbers or well, the biggest number is invariably the roof of your head. And then the second one down the road, or down the sort of spreadsheet from that, is, is tends to be cars. Too many people, particularly, dare I be slightly sexist and say particularly men, um, rush to buy a really flash expensive car prematurely. So if you don't yet have a spreadsheet showing your monthly outgoings, why not work on it now? There's no time like the present.